And right now we move to the latest in the investigation of the undocumented immigrants found in a tractor trailer Tuesday night. That number now at 53, according to the criminal complaint. And an immigration rights organization now claiming they were denied access to speak with the undocumented immigrants by the Department of Homeland Security. And as Bill Barajas explains, they are also alleging that some have already been deported without access to legal counsel. Yeah, that's right. The outrage was put out through a series of tweets. Raiz is an organization dedicated to educating and providing legal services to undocumented immigrants. Claims ICE or Immigration and Customs Enforcement mishandled this case and denied them access to the undocumented immigrants when they were taken into federal custody. The scene Tuesday night was a familiar one here in the Alamo City. July almost a year ago was the terrible incident where all of the folks died. December, there was another trailer found, and then this one. More than 50 undocumented immigrants packed into a tractor trailer, released on the city's north side by the suspected smuggler. Law enforcement rushed to the scene, as did attorneys and social workers for Raices. We want to make sure that at the very baseline that everybody knows um, what their rights are and what their options are. In a series of tweets, Raices claims they were denied access to the undocumented immigrants. They also allege that at least one person was deported without access to legal counsel. One of the tweets saying, quote, today we're going to be working to find the rest of the people from this incident. But this is one example of thousands where people are thrown into and spit out by at ICEGOV without legal advocates. We contacted ICE and they denied deporting anyone. They also addressed Raices' claims that they were not given access to the undocumented immigrants on scene, saying, quote, anyone who was not functioning in a law enforcement or first responder capacity was denied access in order to maintain the safety and integrity of the site, providing medical attention, maintaining a safe environment, collecting evidence, and identifying potential victims and witnesses are of all paramount importance at any crime scene. Out to Raices, but have not heard back from them as of news time today. The undocumented immigrants found were from Mexico, Brazil, El Salvador, and Guatemala. As for the alleged smuggler, he is Gerardo Javier Carrion. He's being held in federal custody. Prosecutors have filed a motion to hold him without bond. They fear he will flee or to attempt, attempt rather, to obstruct justice by intimidating a prospective witness or juror. In the newsroom, Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News.